Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about taxonomical aids. So what are taxonomical aids? These are techniques, procedures and stored informations which are used for identification and classification. So basically, we have tried to adopt some of the procedures or techniques in order to preserve or conserve different species of plants and animals. The first uh, taxonomic aid which we are going to talk about is herbarium. So what is a herbarium? It is a place where dried and pressed plant specimens are kept and these are mounted on sheets and uh, they are stored. Right? Now these actually act as repository or storehouse for future use. Now let us look into some of the methods which we are going to use how to prepare a herbarium sheet. The first step we are going to follow is field visit and specimen collection. We first uh, try to sort out a field where we are going to go and collect the uh, samples of plants. So an area is selected for botanical excursion. After that, specimens are collected. It's a bit different in different kinds of plants. For example, in case of herbaceous plants, since they are smaller enough, we collect, take the whole plant sample. In case of bigger plants, what we do is we select shoots which have important plant parts like flowers, uh, fruits and all and we select those important plant parts and they are actually cut with a pruning knife. The next step which we are going to follow is pressing and drying. After the samples have been collected, these are spread evenly over some uh, newspapers or blotting papers or magazine papers. Now after this, they are they can be put inside heavy books or we can use a press in order to press them and in and in order to dry these samples the next step after drying and pressing is mounting so the samples have already dried now these samples are taken and herbarium in herbarium sheets these are pasted at the back side of the samples glue is applied and these are pasted on the herbarium sheet after this they are covered either with polythen or tissue paper in order to prevent the uh, delicate parts of the plant from being damaged. The next important step is labeling. Now the family, genus, species, characteristics, area, date and also the collector's name is noted down for future use. And the last step which we use is preservation which is very important in order to prevent damage or decaying. For this, the specimens are treated with 0.1% mercury chloride and uh, this actually helps in preventing fungal attack. We also treat these samples with DDT, naphthalene and carbon uh, disulfide in order to prevent these actually act as pesticides. So these are some of the conservation methods. Now let us look into some of the important herbaria which have been set up all throughout the world. We are going to discuss some of the important ones. The first of all, Royal Botanical Garden which is present in Kew, London, it has got about 6.5 million specimens and this is the largest herbaria all throughout the world. The second is Museum of Natural History Paris, it contains about over 6 million specimens. In India, the largest herbaria is uh, present at, it is known as the Central National Herbarium, it is uh, in Indian Botanical Garden, it is actually present in Shippur, Kolkata, it is in India. It has got samples about 2 million specimens. The next another one in India is Madras Herbarium, Coimbatore. Now here they have collection of about 1,50,000 samples. So in this video, we have talked about some of the, uh, we have talked about a taxonomical aid herbaria. We have talked about how to prepare a herbarium and also we have talked about some of the important herbaria that have been set up all throughout the world. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.